We've already started. That is what we call um, uh, Rebel Growth, RGDF, Rebel Growth Development Foundation. Um, immediately, uh, when we got in there, and I, why we did that was, you know, before you become KBC, there is this program uh, in your body, they call it baby. It's a form of uh, seclusion mm -hmm. for a number of days, good number of days, you know, tough days. But one thing that we know is that we we'll see the avalanche of people. You know, it's like every day from 7 o'clock, they have to push them out by 10 p.m. that KBSC wants to go and rest. They queue up. And each of them, market women, this one will bring whatever ways that they have, tomato, uh, meat, uh, anything that people sell. Beyond that, clubs, societies, they all come. So what, what, we need to pay back these people for the love, for the, for the, for the grace that they've showed us. So develop something. And we, uh, we started uh, Remo Growth Development Foundation. We have two co-chairmen from Remo, fantastic gentlemen. They've coordinated this thing. And uh, we've had um, uh, situations where, uh, I think as recent as two weeks ago, we launched the Akaribo Corporate Council, which is uh, for all the companies that in Remo. You know, we hosted them at uh, Woodbaker in, uh, in Lagos. Uh, we've hosted all the executives too of uh, companies in Remo, with that Portia. You know, we came to Lagos, not that we came to Lagos, just to, for them to know. And we've done that on our own. We've not asked them to give us a couple. We, we host them. We talk. Last time I was there, the MD, the last time one we had, the MD of Nestle was there. And I was talking to him, very impressed because, you see, we want them to thrive. We want business to thrive in Remo. And we want it to be a symbiotic thing. Government cannot do all. And we're thinking that in the course of they making money, doing their business in Remo, then they will also in turn give you back. Our foundation, our community, is the only community that I know of that has a 20-year development plan. And we have the compendium. You know, we have a 20 year development plan, so we're not even, we're even looking beyond five years. So, 20 year development plan, and we've started. Um, uh, we finished the passport office now. We now have a passport office in Shagamu. Wow. We have a passport office issuing passport. issuing passport. We have a passport, despite the fact that they don't have, they don't have booklets. Oh, yes, <laughs> yeah? but 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 hopefully, don't worry, we've started fighting them about booklets. I, I, I. Uh, my last, um, uh, there was one ceremony that we had in Ife. Uh, was made the okay. Odele Odua. Odele Odua by the Onion of Ife. So luckily I ran into the Minister of uh, uh, no, Interior. 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 Okay. So if, immediately he saw me, he knew. I said, Honorable Minister, my passport office. He said, Don't worry, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I assure you, I'm working on it. So we, we, we are. And it's there. It's, we, it's not government that gave it to us. We spent our good money. The cost of that passport office could not have been less than about 70, 80 million. And there are people that contributed it. By, in the next two or three weeks, that is what is called the multi-door courtroom. It's, uh, you know, it's like a court, but arbitration court. We decided that we'll construct it ourselves because we don't want our people traveling to Abeokuta or to Ijebode. Oh. So we're going to have our own multi-door courtroom. And we are handing it over to the Chief Justice of Ogun State. Yeah in the next two or three weeks. Those are things that we're doing. And luckily for us, the government is helping us now, at least the road. The roads are not class A, but at least it's, make, it's making it possible. We can, it was horrible before. So I am sure that even given that five years, when you come back, we, that's why most of the celebrations that we're having, we've always made sure that it's low key. Low key. The coronation anniversary is around the corner. It's, uh, it will be two years in the next um, four, four weeks or five weeks tops. But people have asked me, I said, no, this is not a jamboree time. What are we jamboreeing about? Yes. So we need to sit down. Make, but by the time we're five years, I know that that will be cause. Yeah, it's always good to celebrate. The fact that you are alive, alive. you should celebrate. celebrate. But beyond that, we will not have any jamboree until we, have, we are five years. Yeah.